the VWR champion earned that title, the Renaissance woman, because when she steps into that ring, she brings a pedigree and a variety of style that is unmatched. That is right. This is going to be one hell of a fight for this VWR championship. The main event at Rise of the Vixens is always a special affair. Three years in a row, the main title for the company has been on the line. Rise of the Vixens won. You had Rachel Rose, Roxy, now better known perhaps as Roxanne Perez, and the Insidious One looking to unify the RWR Vixens Championship. Last year, Rise of the Vixens 2, you had Nyla Rose, Rachel Rose, and Amber Rodriguez fighting over once again the RWR Vixens Championship. And tonight at Rise of the Vixens 3, the VWR Championship is on the line. That is right. For the However, first time ever in a one-on-one -on -one competition. I was just about to say that. Luckily for Hyon and Kylan King, I guess, it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And there you see one of the advantages that Kylan King has, and that is the size advantage. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's one way to get taller. That's Hion. one thing. One you thing I being respect. Being resourceful. One thing I respect so much about Hyon is exactly how outside the box she is willing to think. Oh no! Oh. Immediately into a cover. Good job on the part of our referee to go from holding up high on to counting very quickly. Thank God Isaac might be the most in shape referee in the history of referees anywhere. I would completely agree with that statement. And there you see the technical wrestling acumen of Kylan King working the arm, maintaining control. Hyon able to maneuver out of it into a headlock. Kylan trying to power out of it. Trying to use that advantage of hers. And that's one thing you've got to be on the lookout for in this match is each woman trying to play to their advantages. And each one of these women has so many different... Oh. As we said, both of these women have so many different ways they can beat you. Oh, what a beautiful arm drag. But this is what I want to see in VWR. Two of the best in the world going at it, fighting over the top championship in the, co in the company. Hyon, who is world traveled, has spent time in Japan, in the United Kingdom, as well as all over the United States. We're proud to have her as a champion, and we are so happy that Kylan King, who is probably one of the best uncontracted talents on the independent circuit, coming in to challenge for this championship here tonight. Absolutely. The fact that either of these women in the middle of this ring right now are uncontracted is just shocking. I know it's mind-blowing, isn't it? Both amazing competitors. And... What you, what you can say about both these women is that they know their worth. Both of these women may not be signed to a major contract, but they, anywhere they go, know 
that they are the great white shark of whatever company they are in. And if nobody has been able to recognize that talent, recognize that level of talent yet, that is on them. We are so lucky to be able to see these two going at it here tonight as Kylan goes for the leg. That is right. And both of these women clearly done their homework. They have, both these women have a catalog of matches in the title match. They seem evenly matched as well. It's the main event of Rise of the Vixens 3. We wanted a main event that people would go back and watch for years. So two women at the top of their game. This could be anyone's contest. As much as I throw, as Hyon goes for a cover, as much as I throw my praise towards Hyon because she is our champion, Kylan King has a very good chance of walking out of here as the new champion. So strong is the momentum that she comes into this match with. I know you've said that she's very decorated in gold as well. Definitely seems to attract gold like a magnet wherever she goes. That could be the case here tonight for VWR. Mm, that is right, and as proud as we are to have Hyon as our champion, Kylan King would also be an amazing champion. Nothing against Hyon. You all know I love that girl. But that's the thing we about would this. Be that, well, that's the thing about this title. Everyone wants it, and some people <laughs> will do anything to get it. But if you look at the work ethic of the women in the ring right here, that is right. Both of them, er they have earned this. They have earned the right to be in the main event of Rise of the Vixens Three. Hyon wants to be the most dominant champion ever to come out of the state of Texas. I would say she has a very good leg up on that title. I can't think of I can't think of any other Texas talent with the pedigree of Hyon. Oh my As goodness. Hyon drives her knee into the spine of Kylie King. You also have to remember Hyon just coming off of a challenge for the Ring of Honor Women's Championship on AEW Dark Elevation not too long ago. That's one thing you have to respect about Hyon. She never settles. She is the top champion in VWR, but she wants more. Again, I talk about that work, that work ethic. Again, she's a fighting champion and she's a fighting competitor. Hyon always willing to grind. as Kylan has her hooked up, snap suplex, center of the ring. That is right, Hyon has been going for titles a lot as of late, just in the last month. Has gone, has fought for Rachel for two of her titles. And I'm wondering if that's more a desire to pick up gold or more of a desire to put a boot in Rachel's face. It's really 50-50 at this point. And honestly, you know, it might be a little bit of both, especially considering what was witnessed at New Texas at Astroworld. Hashtag beat up Rachel Rose. And as you mentioned, that amazing contest for that Ring of Honor Women's Championship against Mercedes Martinez. Yeah, Emily, you and I were lucky enough to be there in person to Dang. witness that. Strong, strong showing from Hyon as she battles with Kylan King on the outside here. Right on that ring apron, precariously placed are both of them. Oh, no. Oh! No. oh. And Hyon took a bad spill on that ring apron, courtesy of Kylan King. I'm the hardest part of the ring. You know, we say that, but I'm pretty sure the ring is the hardest part of the ring. It's been a while since I took a bump, but... But I, I can tell you, it is the hardest part of the ring. I felt it. <laughs> Kylan going after Hyon. Hyon trying to roll to the outside, catch her breath. We've seen Kylan do this before. Hyon tied up in that top rope. Kylan looking to turn Hyon's chest into hamburger. Goodness. Oh, what a comparison for the, the wordsmith. 
Oh. Oh, she got her arm hung up on that top rope. That's, as I said, high on. Adapts to every situation. So, so good is high on. And she knows this ring. She knows this building. She feels comfortable in this building. Whatever pressure she may be feeling, knowing the pedigree of Kylan King across the ring from her, she also knows she owns this building. That is right. In very familiar territory. Defended many championships Look in the, this building. The power of High On. High On able to hit her with that float over suplex. High On backing into the corner. Looking to get some momentum. Goes for the drop kick. Kylan dodges, follows up with a punt kick to the ribs, and now an elevated camel clutch. Sitting down on the small of the back, adding torque to the neck. That is a precarious position that Hyon finds herself in here. And she is very far away from those ropes. Hyon trying to fight out of it. Yeah, Hyon trying to throw elbows, throw strikes to break Kylan's control. Oh. oh. Ooh, that's one way to do it. Oh, there Sunset we go. Sunset flip into a cover. It's a two count. Kylan counters. Two count. Counter by Hyon. Two count. Back and forth. Oh. There Roll we go. Up. One, two. Kylan pushes her off. Hyon ducks that clothesline. Oh, and they catch oh each goodness. other. What a hell of a clothesline on both parts. You know what they parts. say. Great minds think, think alike. alike. As both women are down here in the main event of Rise of the Vixens 3. It is just everything that you want to see in independent women's wrestling. Two of the best on the circuit going at it over the top prize in this company. And they are leaving it all out there. Hyon, Kylan, both trying to get to their feet before the referee reaches that count of 10. And they're up. Oh. It's just two brick walls hitting each other. Neither one refu neither one wanting to budge. That is right. Both of them. You, you can tell what this VWR title means to both of them. Oh my goodness. And there it is. There. Vicious, vicious clothesline. And now Hyon's got her up. And plants her center of the ring. There's the leg drop. Into a cover. Gets a two count. No wasted motion. Still not enough to put away Kylan King. You just gotta think like what else do they have in the tank? We've seen so much already happen in this match. It's like, what else can happen? That is right, both women needing to figure out what they need to do to put the other one away to leave with that VWR championship around their waist. Oh! And there it goes. Missile drop kick off that. Oh! Running double knee. And a deep pin from Kylan King. Hyon had to power herself out of that one. Both of these women leaving everything in the ring. Kylan King pulling Hyon to her feet. Kylan. Kylan's got her up. Looking to put her away here. Oh, wow. Look at Hyon. Just stretched out across the back. Hyon grabbing that arm, being just like we said earlier, so resourceful. Very resourceful. Because who would have thought of that? Hyon would. Oh. Well, Kylan's trying to figure out a, 
a oh. defensive move. Looks like she got it. Yeah, Kylan. It's not pretty, but it's effective. Oh. Full head of steam into the corner, and now the kick. Oh, my goodness. Both of these women Those vicious well strikes regarded. from Kylan. Both these women well regarded for how hard they can hit. Kylan trying to work some life back into that arm. High on through the rope with the shoulder tackle. Now high on Ascending. going up top. Kylan Wheatner there. Just smacking her back, jeez. And here comes Kylan running knee lift. Oh my gosh, right in the midsection. Driving the air right out of high on and now perched atop that top turnbuckle. That is not where high on wants to be right now. Oh, she's hung up. Kylan's got her exactly where she wants her. Now Kylan can pick her spot. Oh! But Hyon able to get a boot out. Oh! oh. Hyon had <gasps> doubted. Wow. That is a reversal. Okay. Okay. Ducks the clothesline. Into a cover. One, two. And Kylan kicks out, able to get that shoulder up. Hyon going back to that arm. Trying to get an arm bar locked in. What a tremendous matchup between these two. This is exactly what I expected to see going into this. Oh, pin. That is right, Jacob. We expect nothing less from our fighting champion, the Renaissance woman, especially here at Rise of the Vixens 3. I've never seen High On give a bad performance. I've never witnessed Kylan King give less than 110%. You put the two of them in the ring together and this is what you get. Now they're fighting for the arm. And Kylan oh. has her up. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, what a beautiful German suplex. Right on the money as Kylan rolls back into the cover. One, two. And Hyon not only kicks out. She put her in a submission. Transitions, maintains control, and now wrenches back. She needs, she needs, there we go. There, and she's there got it, it locked in. Locked in deep, Jacob. Locked in deep. We've seen plenty of people tap to this. Kylan desperately trying to get to the rope. Oh my God, Hion Hion. grabbing the leg. Hyon knew. Oh my God, oh. There it is, And There's that's the it, Hyon with the submission. 